am. And I am. And I am. And I am. And I am. I'm Max Michelle, national and world speed shooting champion. And I am a student of the gun. Give me five bucks. I know you got five bucks on. You get back, man. Give me man. five bucks, man. Just get back, man. Get back. All right, we're doing. I'm here with Jeff Johnsgard from Fox Knives USA. Thanks for being with me. Pleasure. And we're doing some knife training. What brings you here, Jeff? Fox Knives brings me here. They brought me on as a defensive tactics consultant due to my background with uh, renowned knife uh, trainer Kelly Warden. Fantastic. Now, when you're doing blade training or you're doing knife training, you want to make sure that all the tools you use are. Trainers only. This here is a Blade Tech dedicated trainer. This is a Blade Tech rubber knife. Now, we've removed all the live blades from the area, and we've also put on our revision shatterproof glasses for safety. Now, as you guys may have noticed, Jeff used his pocket knife, he used his pocket folder as a defensive tool, but he didn't even deploy the blade. Oftentimes, people will think, oh, if I'm going to use a knife, I have to stab somebody or cut somebody. Is that true? Do you have to actually stab somebody? Well, of, of course not. It's a common misconception. It can be used as a striking, blunt a So blunt I reach out and I grab a hold of you. And right there is where I attacked your hand, maybe towards the face, some sort of a pressure point, gaining distance, maybe to deploy other tools, etc. So you give me the opportunity to uh, adjust my behavior pattern, right? <laughs> That's the one way Okay. Now, let's say I'm a slow learner and I've decided, oh, you want to play games, huh? And I pull out a live knife and I'm on you. Well, in this case, I would simply extend the blade and use it to try and defang the snake or attack the attacking weapon, cutting the uh, vital parts of the, of the body on the inner arm, brachioradialis, muscles, tendons, etc., which is actually holding the knife, helping you to grip it. Exactly. Not anything that's going to kill you, but something that'll help me to educate now, you further. How does that look? If I have to use a knife to defend myself, I'm legitimately defending myself against an attack, and I cut a person two or three times, they drop their knives. How does that make me look as, composed, as opposed to using the bad guy as a pincushion? Well, you're simply talking about use of force. Uh, obviously, you're going to look much better. As long as you're protecting yourself, you can scale your escalation of force uh, as you see fit. And also, would you uh, agree with me that by defanging the snake, you can end the problem a lot faster than doing the old pincushion technique. Is that correct? That is correct, and without causing really serious harm to someone. All right. For more information about Fox Knives or training like this, you can go to foxknivesusa.com. Hello and welcome to another segment of the Precision Project. Today we're going to stretch out the word precision to 1,000 yards. That's right. I'm here with David Rooney.